Hello, Charles from American Life 365. Today, I will share with you how to fix the problem of the air conditioner unit is not cooling. Let me turn on the air conditioning unit for cooling. Looking outside at the spinning condenser, it appears to be working. Then check the air temperature at the vents. It is hot, 84.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Check the other one, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty high. Then check if the air handler blower is working. You can hear the blower working as expected. You can hear a blower motor running normally with a, a smooth sound and no frictions. Actually, when I checked the air temperature at the vent, I could feel the air coming out of the vents. It means the air handler is working as expected. Now I went to the outdoor unit condenser to check the condenser air temperature. Wow, it was cool. 95.5 degrees. <laughs> the temperature is about 90s. The temperature is then compared with the other points at similar temperatures. This tells me that there is no heat being transferred from the house. In other words, the air conditioner unit cannot cool the house. Hey, let me find out what the problem. Start by turning off the thermostats. Well, the first thing to do is to disconnect the power in the switch box to ensure safety. Unplug the connector from the switch box Place it on top of the switch box. Then remove the cover of the condenser unit. Unscrew the nuts. Then take off the cover. Look inside. It is very simple. The largest electronic parts is the capacitor. Capacitors are used to store and regulate electrons to produce the necessary voltage for the overhead fan to circulate the hot, evaporating hot air. This is why some people sometimes refer to a condenser as a, an evaporator. Capacitors are also used to store electrons and to create a high voltage for compression at the center of the condenser. A compressor is used to circulate a free on through the copper pipes. Free on can be used to transport the heat from the house and to the condenser for evaporation. If the compressor is not working, it means the heat cannot be conducted to the outside, so there is no cooling. Apparently, the compressor wasn't working. The non-working compressor may be caused by compressor is damaged or the compressor is not getting enough voltage from capacitor. Let me check if the capacitor produces enough voltage. Uh, let me take out the capacitor. The very important thing to do before touching a capacitor is to discharge it. 
use a metal rod to connect two connectors of the capacitor, hold the rubber of the isolating ends, make two connectors connect each other. This can short circuit and the circuit to discharge the capacitor. Then connect the other end with all combinations of the both ends. Connect and discharge. The capacitor can be removed by unscrewing the nut. Take a photo of the color cable connections for reference when reconnecting. Then Look at the label on the capacitor, 70 by 5, plus or minus 5%. Maximum voltage is 440 volt, volt. Pretty high voltage in North America. Normal voltage is 110 volt. Some appliances may use 220 volt. But this capacitor can withstand 440 watt. Quite impressive. Pull out the cable to disconnect. Check the CV capacitor value. High CV means high capacitor efficiency. Use a multimeter. Switch to microfarad press set to microfarad check out the capacitor connector it is marked hum fan and c basically hum means hook up the pressure motor maybe the hum sounds like the pressure motor working the fan is connected to the fan and C represent the capacitance of the capacitor. Check the value between C and the fan. The readings is about 3.34 microfarads, which is outside of the range of 4.75 5.25, basically 5 plus or minus 5% out of range, but it is close to the border. That is why the fan still spinning. Check the value between C and HERM. The reading is about 4.67 microfarads far out of the range, which should be essentially 7 plus minus 5 percent, 66.5 to 73.5 range. This is why the compressor is not working. I went to Ferguson and bought a new capacitor, same specification. 70 by 5 plus or minus 5% and 440 volts maximum. Check the value between C and the fan. The reading is about 4.96 microfarads, which is right in the middle of the 4.75 to 
0.25 range basically is 5 plus or minus 5% right in the middle of the range. Check the value between C and HUM. The reading is 70.5 microfarads, which is right in the middle of the range, 66.5 to 73.5, basically 70 plus or minus 5%. Then reconnect each color cable back to the new capacitor connector according to the picture taken earlier. Put it back and secure. Replace the cover back and tighten. Then plug in the power connector and connect the power supply inside the switch box. Then turn on cool in a thermostat. Check the air wow. temperature at the condenser. Wow, it is 103.3 degrees Fahrenheit, which means this condenser is drawing heat from the house to outside the evaporating hot air. The hot air is a result from evaporating heat passed by Freon from the house. Check the air temperature at the vents. Wow! It is 59.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The air conditioning unit is back to work. It cost only $17.99. <laughs> if everyone can do this, I don't know how AC guy can Whoa. live on or survive. <laughs> I guess I will get a bunch of dislike on this video from them. <laughs> if you like our video, please click the logo to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your efforts to help us encourage us to make more videos to share American life. Thank you.